Hi everybody, today's focus, I'm gonna test a UV travel wand to see how well it removes bacteria around my home. This video is a viewer request. I've had viewer requests to test UV lights from Sweet Sue, Temporary and U5248, user MJ70K3VU2J, Stacy McCann, here Steven, Ricovi, Hammer Fallen, Gabriel Knights, Thomas Sears, and others. So I just searched on Amazon and found a travel UV wand. Let me show you what's on the box and let's read the package insert. So on the box it says handheld UV sanitizer travel wand. On the back of the box it says ultraviolet disinfectant lamp. Okay. Warning, ultraviolet rays are harmful to the skin and eyes. Please do not look at it directly. We'll make sure we don't do that. All right. And then inside it was just wrapped in bubble wrap and it has this package insert. This is not a very big package insert. Very small. So let me read it to you. Rechargeable UV disinfection rod. Portable ultraviolet lamp lets you enjoy healthy life at any time. So what I'm really interested in is how to use it. And so the how to use directions are turn on the ultraviolet light to irradiate the place to be sterilized. The time can be five to 10 seconds. Depends on the item. All right, so, so five to 10 seconds and it should remove the bacteria. So in order to test how well this UV lamp works, what I'm gonna do is take a petri dish just like this guy here and label them A, B, and C. I'm going to take some sterile swabs and swab areas around my home, like my kitchen sink, bathroom sink, toilet rim, and I'll place those samples in the section labeled B for before. Then I will use the UV lamp, swab the areas again, and place those samples in the section labeled A for after. Seize my control. Nothing goes there. So this way, we'll be able to see how much bacteria is on a surface before using the wand and after using the wand. I might conduct some other tests also. I think what I'll do is take my petri dishes that I have things growing on them from other tests and take the bacteria from those petri dishes and swab it on a new dish. Then shine the light on it. Now I know it said five or 10 seconds, but I think I'll test one at five seconds, one at 10 seconds, let's try 30 seconds, let's try a minute and see what happens. I don't know, let's try that and see how that works. This UV wand does have a dial here that you can control the intensity of the UV light. I'm going to have it on max. So let's see how well this UV travel lamp removes bacteria from my home.
Now for some results. Let's have a look at the results where I shined the UV light on a petri dish that has a lot of bacteria on it for 5, 10, 30, and 60 seconds. The 5 second time. There's a lot of bacteria in this petri dish and it looks like the UV light did absolutely nothing to reduce the bacteria. 10 second time. Again, we see a full plate of bacteria there. I'm not seeing any decrease in bacteria where the light was shining for 10 seconds. The 30 second time, still seeing a tremendous amount of bacteria on the petri dish with no visible indication of any decrease at all where the UV light was shining. The 60 second time, again, we're seeing a full plate of bacteria. I'm not seeing any visible decrease in bacteria at all where the UV light was shining. So let's move on to the kitchen sink. In the before section, we can see some bacteria. And in the after section, we can see a very strong visible decrease. I'm only seeing four tiny bacterial colonies in the after section. So the UV1 did appear to remove bacteria from my kitchen sink. The bathroom sink. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria. That's great. And in the after section, we most certainly can see a visible decrease in bacteria. So in this case, the UV1 appears to be able to remove some bacteria from the bathroom sink. The toilet rim. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria. And in the after section, I'm not seeing much of a decrease. Maybe there's a tiny decrease in bacteria, but it looks pretty similar to me. So I'm going to go ahead and say that the UV light did not do a good job of removing the bacteria from my toilet rim. So overall, I had some mixed results when I tested the UV wand. In the areas in the kitchen sink and the bathroom sink, I saw a decrease in bacteria after using the wand. However, the toilet rim in all of those other plates, there didn't seem to be a decrease at all. After I got the results from the kitchen sink, the bathroom sink, and the toilet room, and I saw that decrease in the kitchen sink and in the bathroom sink, I did redo the plate ones two times, and each time I just kept getting a ton of bacteria on those plates and no decrease. For me, this is not a product that I would use in my home. Yes, the UV light appeared to be able to remove some of the bacteria from my bathroom sink and my kitchen sink. However, this light does not remove dirt, grime, and soap scum from the area. So this is just not something that I would use in my home. I think wipes and sprays do a much better job of removing bacteria, dirt, grime, soap scum, yucky stuff, right, from the surfaces that this just doesn't do. I guess this could be useful if you had something that absolutely could not be wiped with anything, like you could not even use an alcohol wipe on a product. Maybe this would be useful. I don't know, I'm just not seeing this as a useful product. The other thing to think about, if you have to hold it for a certain amount of time, let's say I'm trying to clean like this, my whole arm, I have to, you know, 10 seconds. 10 seconds, just the width of the light, right? 10 seconds, 10 seconds, 10 seconds, 10 seconds, 10 seconds, 10 seconds. You see how repetitive and how boring this is? 10 seconds, 10 seconds. So I really don't see how that is more effective than taking just like a Lysol wipe and wiping or a Mrs. Meyers soap and spraying and wiping, or a cell suds and spraying and wiping, or um, pick any other product, a, a Purell spray, spraying and wiping. I don't know, I'm just not seeing this as being a product that I'm likely to use in my home. But if you're someone who really does rely on these UV lights, you can know that it did remove some of the bacteria in my kitchen sink and in my bathroom sink, was not able to remove any from my toilet room, and it did nothing for the petri dishes that had a large amount of bacteria on them. So if there is a product that you would like me to test, do me a favor and put it in the comments section and I will add it to my viewer suggestion list or you can mail me something. My mailbox address is in the description below. Just do me a favor and send me an email first, which is also in the description below so we can have a conversation about the product. Right now if someone mails me something, I'm running maybe a two to three month backlog, like so if I get something today, we're looking at a video coming out maybe in two or three months, but let's have a conversation before you mail me something. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care, have yourselves a great day.